Hello everyone, my name is UJ. So today I'll show you what are the main features you need to disable on your iPhone and the settings you have to change. So let's just go ahead and start. So here's the first thing. Uh, we just go into the setting menu, then we go into our privacy and scroll down and see where you can see analytics and improvements. Click on that. You'll see a couple of options. You should turn everything off, including share with the developer. And also, you can turn it off, share iPhone and watch analytics. You can turn it off. It will turn off watch data and everything. So second thing you have to turn off, it's significant location. So for that, you have to go to settings, scroll down, go to privacy, and then in a location service, click on that and scroll all the way down where you can see system services and here you can see it's significant location it's turned off it asks you for the face IT for the confirmation you can turn it off from here so third thing we have to turn off is unnecessary location services so go to go into privacy, go into location services, and go into system services. As you can see, there are but a bunch of other location services which are turned off, turned on. So we have to turn off which we don't use. For example, uh, HomeKit, location-based suggestions, and network and wireless and all that stuff. So I'm gonna turn everything off. So you can uh, just keep find my iPhone and also the calibration, which is going to be uh, distance, location for your watch and for the steps count and uh, rest of them, you, you can turn it off. So the next thing we have to turn off is as advertising. So, uh, you usually see when you are shopping around and when you're doing any research uh, if you want to buy something there's a tar targeted uh, advertisement you see on different pages so to turn it off you go to privacy go to advertising and I have already turned it off so you just make sure that it limits at tracking so uh, uh, most of the um, ad trackers they can't see uh, what uh, what exactly information you are trying to get so uh, it limits uh, your information going out to the uh, advertisement agencies so the next thing we have to change is background app refresh data so uh, basically your apps are continuously asking for the new data and even if you are not using them they'll keep on asking for the new information it consumes your battery power and the data as well so to change it go back to uh, general and also go back to uh, background app refresh so you, here you can turn off all the uh, all the apps you don't want to use and you think you have to turn them off so basically uh, you can turn it from here all right so next thing you have to turn off or you should be careful about is voice commands and when your phone is locked what can be done uh, even if your phone is locked so go to settings and then you scroll down to face id and passcode it asks you for your passcode, enter passcode, and then scroll down. Here you can see, even if it's locked, what can you do for uh, by a voice, a voice dial? And if you have Siri uh, enabled, I have already turned it off. So uh, that option would be here. So you can basically, even if it's locked, allow access when locked. You can have a control center. You can have a home control, wallet, and all that stuff. So you can just turn it off from here. Like I can't really access wallet till I have my uh, iPhone unlocked. Can't really get home control anything, and also turn miss call. So uh, these kind of things you have to turn off as well. Okay. So the next thing we have to change is um, auto lock. So uh, it, to make it more secure, go to display and and brightness and see auto lock so click on that so um, I have it on uh, 30 seconds so uh, to make it more secure um, the lesser it is I think it's more secure and better 
so uh, put it on 30 second one minute so every time you use a cell phone and even if you're not using it you put it on the side it just locks itself locks itself thank you for watching the video guys please like and subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so every time i upload a video you guys get the notification as well